evening and welcome to Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. From the campus of Millis High School, we bring you Millis Mohawks girls basketball team as they play host to the Dover Sherborne Raiders. Alongside Zach Golden, I'm Doug Coots. We are high above courtside here at the Andy Merritt Gymnasium and we are just underway. Mohawks in their home white and white. Kits going left to right on your media device. And the Dover Sherburn Raiders in their blue and blue going right to left. Week, week three of this season kicks off with this Tri Valley contest. Raiders Sabrina Ryan opening up the scoring. Two nothing early on here. We thank those who made tonight possible, those who set forth the rules, those who are here to make sure we are socially distant and sanitized. Three-pointer from Abby Miller is good. It's good to be playing. It's a snowy evening here, but nice and warm. Some exciting battles on the court to play it out this evening. Drive and runner by Kate Mastrobono is good. Raiders back on top. Second chance pass to Mia Molinari works. She scores. Full court pressure brings about a whistle. Caroline Mundy, Aaron Rice, Abby Miller, Mia Molinari, and Georgia Delasco to five on the court for your Mohawks. That foul was charged to Aaron Rice. So Molinari charged with that foul. It'll send Meg Hanlon to the line. She'll have two shots, first of which will be alone. And now her friends and two opponents can enter the lane for the second contested shot. The shot is up and no good, so Hanlon misses them both. Mohawks holding a 5-4 lead early going here. Two minutes in, about six to go. Miller tries to get it inside and does to Erin Rice. She goes to the left hand to get around the defender. The kiss off the glass is good. 7-4, your Mohawks. Get pass across the court. Good half court defense here. Whistle and a foul. Very close to stepping out of bounds there. That foul charge at Jalasco. Third team foul in the early going here. Well defended. Several Mohawks were ready for that. Miller will take it to the hoop and get the basket. Five for Miller, nine for the Mohawks. Time out on the floor, 5.19 to go in the first. Nine for Millis. Players coming out on the court after a timeout. Just waiting for a buzzer. It never materialized. They're underway. Miller, Mundy, Rice, Molinari, and Jalasco, the five on the court right now. Oh, 
Well defended, just wouldn't go for the Raiders there. To Jalasco, puts it to the floor, shot is up and way up and, and up and over. Kaylee Bassett in for your Mohawks. Full court press here, all 10 players on this half of the court. Foul charge to Bassett, her first team fourth. Erica Hills in for the Raiders. To the corner, Master Bono. Very close to the sideline, and it is off the sideline. Turnover to the Mohawks. knocked out of bounds. Stays with your Mohawks. Miller in the corner. Molinari trying to get it on the block. And Rice with the underhand gets it to go. Mohawks extend their lead to 11 to four. Mohawks defense making it difficult all over the court. Parker Kendall in for Dover Sherborne. Courtney Bickford in for your Mohawks. Of course, one of the rules modifications, no offensive inbounds from the baseline, so this gets pushed to the sideline. Ball is spilled momentarily. Raiders able to corral it. 13 on the shot clock. Knocked out of bounds by Bassett. We'll have another sideline inbounds. 10 on the shot clock. Just past the midway point of the quarter. Four in, four to go. Ball is tipped and stolen. Anita Rice. Tries to get it back to Bickford. Miller to inbound. Miller comes all the way around. Steps into the lane for the left-handed runner. No good. Mohawk secure the rebound. Miller left all alone. Can't get the three-pointer to go. 332 left in this quarter. 11-4 your Mohawks. Aggressive runner there by Master Bono. Well defended by the Mohawks, just holding their ground. Bickford comes around a screen. Look, the pass was left open. Back iron, no. Monday the rebound. Can't get it to go. Rebound again by the Mohawks. That one by Bassett won't go. This time Dover securing the rebound. It was something interesting there. I'm not sure what it was. Backdoor cut is up, high off the glass, won't go. Miller the rebound, she's on the run. Jump stop, no good, whistle. You're pointing in the direction of Dover Sherbon. Grace Jewett into the game for your Mohawks. And no in for the Raiders. Julia Groton hustling to the table as well. 2.36 left in the first. Mohawks riding an eight-point eight run here. We're down 4-3, and they lead 11-4. We'll just break the press. It's a good entry pass to the middle of the lane, but with several defenders closing in. Turnover. 
First team first. Kara Crowley into the game. Fresh shot clock for your Mohawks. Rickford coming around a screen. Trying to find Bassett inside. She'll get it at the top of the key. Rice is going to end up getting that. Pass over to a streaking Jewett. Up and under is good. Two for Jewett, 13 for the Mohawks. So another timeout here by the Raiders. 1.43 to go. Mohawks, 13 to 4. All right, first buzzer coming out of a timeout. Bratton, Miller, Bassett, Jewett, and Bigford, the five on the floor right now. 1.43 to go. Dover. Another timeout to try and settle things down here. Mohawks on a 10-0 run, leading by nine. That ball stolen. Threw it to the basket, contact and foul. Reese O'Connell committing that foul. Her first, second on Dover. Mohawk sitting on four. Mia, Mia Molinari into the game for your Mohawks. Who would convert the second? The lead is 10. Contested shot. O'Connell had her hands on it but was smothered. Fifth turnover for the Raiders. A long time since Dover has scored. Miller, long three, front iron, no rebound to Groton. It's the second foul on. Oh no. Minute to go. Jewett tried to scoot it across. The idea was right, but it ended up through the legs of Molinari. She was open though. Jewett did track both defenders. A lot of contact there. No, able to save it. Nine on the shot clock. Dover's gonna have to put one up. There it goes. Three-pointer, no good. Molinari, the rebound. Three-pointer from the wing. Front iron, no good. Molinari, another rebound. This time up to Miller. Just to Groton off the glass, no good. And that is how the quarter ends. So at the end of one here from Miller, starts four. Mohawks 14, Raiders four. Clears coming onto the floor for the second quarter. Bigford, Rice, Mundy, Miller, and Molinari, the five that trot onto the court for your Mohawks. An exciting first quarter is in the books, Mohawks. The last 11 points of the quarter. I may enjoy a 10 point cushion right now. Monday around a screen. 
met by several. Foul on Sabrina Ryan, her first. It's the fourth for the Raiders, four for each now. Monday no good on the first, she'll have a second. Jalasco in the game for your Mohawks. So Monday is no good, but a violation from outside the lane. So Monday makes them pay. on the ground. Well, between the masks and everything else, it's hard to it's hard to think quite frankly in here. But we got that right. It was a tie up. Mohawks tried to get a a time out there. Just got to take a deep breath, think it through. Good job by our officials there. Hills got into a spot and trapped. She turns it over. Miller will take it back up top and we'll set something up here. Foul line jumper, no good. But Rice ends up getting the rebound. And the left-handed runner is good. 17 to four. Nice entry pass. Ryan couldn't get it to go. Out of bounds off your Mohawks. Sophia Sisto is into the game. Five on the shot clock, it's gonna to have to go up here. Setback three is up and off the top of the backboard and over. So no possession there, so no reset of the shot clock. Meg Hanlon in for Dover. Six twenty-four left in this second quarter. Nice, the three-pointer, no. Georgia get her hands on the rebound. Just couldn't secure it. Oh, defense well extended. A little too much contact that time. Sisto charged with the foul. Fifth team foul, Mohawks have spread them out amongst five different players. Elbow jumper from Hanlon won't go. The dry spell continues for Dover. Like Jalasco might have been moving there, and indeed that was the case. She's charged with her second foul. Tough spot to pick up the dribble. 
Mundy harassing and a little too much there. So she's charged with her first foul. That's the seventh foul. Seventh team foul. So Hannah Scary into the game for the visitors. Haley Bassett is at the scorer's table ready to come in and she is invited in. Julia Gratton also coming in. The coach is putting the uh, announcer to work here. So Monday's first team seventh. That'll put Kendall, Parker Kendall to the line for one and one. And the first is up and good. So Dover finally on the board. Second one back iron, no, hustling to the corner. I need a timeout here and timeout called for and granted. So with 523 left here in the second quarter, your Mohawks lead 17 to five. There's coming onto the court after a timeout. Bratton, Bassett, Rice, Miller, and Jalasco, the five on the court for your Mohawks. 5.21 to go, and we are underway again. Mohawks 17-5. Single free throw for the Raiders there. Breaks a long run of scoring. Grant to the lane. Can't get the left-hander to go. So the Raiders did have a 4-3 lead in this one. And that ball's going to be stolen. Miller and Rice working the two on one. Rice gets it to go. Her eighth point of the game. The Raiders using a lot of energy to get that ball just across the midcourt stripe. Grace Jewett into the game for the Mohawks. Trap in the corner and stolen. Jewett and Miller. So Miller will be to the line for two after a foul committed by Lily Thompson. And Miller drops the first through the net. Astro Bono and Riley Spaulding in for the visitors. Second shot for Miller with with some company in the lane this time. Can't get it to go, secured by Master Bono. Ball tipped, fought for. Jewett gets it, she's ridden to the sideline. Spalding commits the foul, her first. So that puts the Raiders at the limit. Bickford into the game. And we are right at that magical midway point. Four down, four to go. So everyone will be shooting from here on out. Bickford, tough grab there, gets it. Trapped by two, kept her pivot foot down there and the Mohawks retain a timeout on the floor by Millis, 3.54 to go, 20 to five is our score. Gratton, Bassett, Miller, Jewett, and Bickford, the five on the court. It's waiting for the buzzer. Players are in a hurry tonight, so. Hey, 
So Spalding commits her second foul. Miller to the line, shooting foul, 17 foul. One rattles home. Miller knocks them both down. She has eight. Mohawks have 22. Rinder is able to get this one across. Try to find Spalding inside. Fifth turnover. to a rolling Bickford and she converts. Her first bucket. So Spalding was able to get settled and get a shot off. 24-7. Miller looks like she's going to get tied up there. and Riley Connery into the game for your Mohawks. Shot clock at 12. Ball in the hands of Miller. Double screen up top. A lot of, a lot of movement up there. So Bassett charged with her second. Mia Molinari into the game. Ball is stolen by Bigford. Two minutes left in this second quarter. Corner three-pointer from Rice, no good. Off the rim, off the top of the rebound. And I believe the edge of the backboard is still in play. It is tough to see even from our high perch as Molinari scores on a nice feed from Bickford. Molinari, oh, good defensive play and another steal. Seventh turnover for the Raiders. Just in this quarter to go with five in the first. Just couldn't make a connection there. Another steal. Connery on the ball. Shot is up and no good. Under a minute. Rebound by O'Connell. She gets the reverse to go. Nice move there. That pass is going to sail. Kara Rice into the game. Georgia Delasco also for your Mohawks. 41 seconds. Yes. 
No, oh, that's not going to get there. And neither is that. We're calling a foul there. It's the second on Rice. So we'll march the length of the four for some foul shots. One and one coming. Caroline Mundy will check into the game. Astra Bono to the line. Four, uh, one and one. Rainmaker is short, gets her own rebound, drives it and scores. Missed the free throw, get the bucket. 16 seconds left, shot clock is off here. Miller comes around a screen, thought about it. Bickford able to get it back. Uh, from Kira Rice, the jumper, baseline jumper from the corner is good. And we have reached halftime. Our score from Millis, Mohawks 28, Raiders 11. Clear is coming out onto the court for the second half. An exciting first half is in the books. Heads up for the buzzer. Uh, we're good to go. 28-11, your Mohawks in the lead. Mohawks with a 11-0 run at the end of the first quarter. It really sparked the lead. Nine turnovers in the second quarter for the Raiders. Five in the first, 14 total, four and four for a total of eight for your Mohawks. So Mohawks defense really getting it done. We are underway here. On side, Zach Golden and Doug Cruz. We are high above the court side here. A socially distant gathering here at the Andy Marriott Gymnasium. Master Bono dribbles that one out of bounds. Miller, Jalasco, Aaron Rice, Mundy, and Mia Molinari, the five on the floor for your Mohawks. Rice driving, the left-handed scoop shot is good. Miller and Erin Rice with eight for the Mohawks in that first half. Bucket by Hills. Four for Master Bono, then a handful with a single basket apiece. Raiders have had difficulty scoring. Good move by Molinari, she gets it to go. He has six. Exit, exit. Yeah, Aaron Rice and Jalasco and Bassett with two for your Mohawks. Two fouls, Spalding with two for the Raiders. Not a ton of foul trouble. Although, as I say that, that's the third on Rice. But she's charged with that foul. Tried the give and go there, didn't work, but the Raiders still retain it. Astro Bono down the lane, absorbs the contact, can't get it to go. Foul charge to Jalasco here, third. Master Bono to the line. This time she'll have two. High Harkin shot. Haley Bassett in for your Mohawks. Oh, that is a really high Harkin shot. Doesn't go. Raiders one for five from the foul line in that first half. Mohawks five for five for nine. So one for five Raiders. Five for nine Mohawks with a foul line. I sometimes just can't hear myself even with these masks on. Oh, 
Mondy, the three-pointer, no good. Rebound battle, the four Raiders come away with it. Good entry pass to the block, comes back outside. Well defended, and Mohawks the other way. Behind the back for Miller, underhand, can't get it to go, just fell a little short. Five thirty-eight to go in this third quarter. Shot is blocked by Rice. Sabrina Ryan is there for her second bucket of the game. Bassett's shot was won't go from the baseline, but Mohawks retain the rebounds. Mundy around a Molinari screen, can't get it to go. Three-pointer is no good. Master Bono with the rebound. She can't get it to go. Tapped out. Raiders still retain it. All sorts of hands in there. Mohawks get the ball, and they want to talk it over to a timeout with 4.42 left in this third, 32-15. Players coming on to the court. Mundy, Bassett, Jewett, Bickford, and Miller, the five. 4.42 left in the third. That's the Mohawks' third timeout. Foul on O'Connell, her second. Gives the Mohawks a new shot clock. Bickford on the block, up and won't go. Miller fighting for the rebound, might have pushed off. And looks like she did, so Miller's charged with her first. Third team foul. Parker Kendall in for the visitors. Shot is no good, but rebound. Hard fought rebound by Ryan. Can't get it to go. Another shot won't go. So Raiders, another empty trip. Turnover to Dover Sherborne. Three thirty seven to go. All defended by Miller. Ball to the ground, turned over. Mundy, three on ones. Can't get it to go. Jewett. No go. Jewett again. So the Mohawks with an empty trip of their own. So Dover wants to talk it over this time. So with 3.05 to go, timeout on the floor, Mohawks, 32-15. And there is the buzzer players taking the court after a timeout, Gratton, Bickford, Jewett, Bassett, and Aaron Rice, the five on the court right now for Mohawks. That's don't think that was touched, and it is a backcourt, so fourth turnover this quarter. Exactly three minutes to go. Bit of a scoring drought, both sides here. 
Four points for each side this quarter. Bigford's long three point attempt from the corner is good. Courtney Bigford connects. She now has five points. Charge to Groton. Just ferocious defense by the Mohawks here. Raiders retain. Hey, good work, good work, guys. Hey, let's go double X. Double. Stand it, double. Stand it, X, X. Tipped and stolen. Ten on the shot clock. Jewett tries to get around the screen, harassed by several. Bassett's gonna have to launch that. Front rim on that three pointer is no good. Good box out by Hanlon. Three point attempt from that left side won't go. A lot of contact there, still, boy, what a battle. And out of bounds in favor of the Mohawks. Kara Crowley into the game. Quick foot around a Bassett screen. Nice, we'll take the long three. No good. Gratton hustling, gets it. Hooks around the block, get it back up. Just wouldn't go though. Nice drive by no, but it will not fall. Good rebound for the Mohawks. Three on two if they hurry. Gratton. Front rim, no, we're under a minute here. Good drive to the hoop by Kendall. Foul charged to Jewett, her first. 15 foul this half. Kendall to the line for two. She hits the first, one of two in the first half. Kira Rice, Abby Miller, and Georgia Delasco check in for the Mohawks. Kendall gets the second to go, so a pair of that time for the Raiders. Miller around a pick, left open, three pointer, back iron, no. Got a one second differential shot in game clock here in this third quarter. 20 seconds. Nice move, I know, to get around and get a shot up. Would not go. Caroline Mundy into the game. 6.3 to go. See if Mohawks can get something uh, to the hoop here. Jewett will bring it up. Jewett, a good take to the lane. 
And it counts. So Grace Jewett was able to find a seam, and she scores. So at the end of three, 37-17 is our score. So players coming onto the court for the fourth quarter. Mohawks retaining a 20-point lead, 37-17. Miller, Jewett, Delasco, Mundy, and Kira Rice, the five on the floor for your Mohawks. And we are underway. Miller, the drive is blocked. All inside, can't get it to go. Tied up, Raiders ball. So Dover with only six points that quarter. Five turnovers and there's the first of the fourth. Mundy can't get that to go. Jewett disrupts that to the hands of Miller. Dish to Mundy, this time same song, different verse. And Mundy is able to get it to go. Third foul, second only on the team this half. A nice time to do it. Jalasco and she converts. Got that ball to a point where it bounced but came right up to her hands. Give able to lay it in. So no good. Here come the Mohawks. Miller pushing it, jump stop in the lane, back iron, gets the shooter's roll. Miller, her first points to the second half, she has 10, Mohawks have 43, we have a timeout, 5.58 to go, 43-17. Clears onto the court after a timeout, fourth timeout for Dover, they have one left, Mohawks have two. Miller, Kira Rice. Jalasco, Mundy, and Jew at the five for the Mohawks on the floor right now. Nice entry pass. It's met though and blocked. Nice cut, just can't get the reverse to go. Mohawks will slow it down, 5.13 to go. Bono, crossover, and she gets it to go. Hoop and the harm. Uh, 
Foul charge to Grad in her second, puts the Mohawks at the limit. Erin Rice and ba Haley Bassett into the game. Courtney Bickford trying to get in as well. Hannah Skiri for the visitors. Bono has one shot here. And that rattles around and drops through. So three-point play for the Raiders. Finish the substitution. 43-24-42 to play here from Millis. Good hustle by Jewett with the forcing the tie up. Bigford to inbound. Ball is spilled and taken over by the Raiders. Come the other way. And the runner by Hanlon is good. Caroline Mundy is there to clean that one up. She has five. Well defended. Abby Miller back into the game. Nice play by Scary to keep that in the hands of Dover. Good move by Sabrina Ryan, but Mohawks running. Miller, another good pass. This time Bickford on the other end. She has seven. Charge to Miller, her second. So it's a shooting foul. Mohawks are now over the limit. Scary cannot get that first one to go. She'll have a second. Mia Molinari into the game. Second is good. Three twelve to go here. Mohawks trying to steer this one to the finish line. Foul on Hanlon, just her first, just the team's third. Riley Connery into the game. Bickford, skip pass. Back to Miller up top, plenty of time, 19 on the shot clock. Now into single digits, that ball stolen. Mill put it to her left. That good protection, so. Miller charged with a foul, it's her third. Thank you. 
Final shots just wouldn't go that time. 2.30 left. Miller well defended. Pickford far side. Conry shot. It rattles around and it'll drop. So Riley Conry with two. A bad offering from Skiri was sent aside by Aaron Rice. Sophia Sisto, Julia Gratton, and Kira Rice checking in for your Mohawks. 2.12 to go here. Forty-nine twenty-three is our score. So Molinari can charge with her second. So that's the ninth. So double bonus after this one and one trip. Scary to the line. She just came off the charity stripe. One of two. Did hit the second. And she hits the first here, earns herself another. She converts them both, three for four from the line. Just under two minutes. Shot from Kira Rice, front iron. 140 to go. That ball. In and out of the hands of Broughton. Gets her foot to it though, so. Parker Kendall back in for the visitors. So Sisto charged with her second, so double bonus, two shots, 10th team foul. So with 90 seconds to go, and Scary back to the line. That one is nothing but net. Pass it in for your Mohawks. One does not go. Rebound knocked out by the Mohawks. Sisto with the rebound. Kira Rice on her own. Gets around two, passes over third. Gratton to the lane, shot is partially blocked. We are under a minute, no problem there. Off the Mohawks, no backcourt. No backcourt, it's off the Mohawks. Eight on the shot clock. Raiders are going to have to do something. Knocked away to the backcourt. Zora might not get a shot off here, and they do not. So shot clock violation. So 1.1 second differential here. Mohawks can just about run this to the end. Rebound to Grand. She just can't get a handle to it, but Mohawks just as well. They could, uh, actually, no shot clock reset. They'll have to put it up. Grant long three-pointer, no go. 
Sisto tries to keep it in, just can't. Over to the Raiders, so two seconds left here. Long pass, and the Raiders will not get a final shot. So there goes the final buzzer here from Millis. Our final score, the Millis Mohawks 49, Dover Shoreborne Raiders 26. Mohawks using a suffocating defense in that first and second quarter, get a lead and ride it to the end. We thank you for watching Millis Community Media's coverage of Mohawk Athletics. For tonight, the girls varsity basketball team has claimed victory over the Dover Raiders. Alongside Zach Golden, I'm Doug Coots. Thank you and good night.